Many people have approached the Perf Sonar Project to ask about the legitimacy of using virtual machines for measurement instead of using uh, a server class piece of hardware. And at face value, there, there are several benefits that using a virtual machine delivers to your IT infrastructure. Virtual machines are inexpensive to use. You can have several virtual resources on top of a, a piece of host hardware uh, and not having to buy new, new pieces of hardware to support that. Another reason is that it's easier to manage virtual resources because there's software that's built uh, into the hypervisor layer of this software to uh, ensure that things are operating properly and not crashing and using resources efficiently. Lastly, uh, server class hardware requires power and cooling within a data center environment. And adding another piece of server hardware just to measure a network uh, can sometimes be hard to justify. At face value, these are all very legitimate reasons, but we often see complications when virtual hardware is used to measure networks with perf sonar. Uh, in some instances, all these benefits that we've just listed are, are never fully realized because we're not able to, to fully utilize uh, this, this tool to its, to its advantage. So if we look at this example taken from a virtual machine that was measuring uh, a piece of the network infrastructure, we see a couple of things. Over the course of the day, NTP, which is the, NT, the, the network time protocol daemon that keeps time on the back end, was starting to drift. And we see this problem uh, many times in virtual infrastructure because we have to have our time travel through several different layers. It travels through the operating system on the host itself, but then it must travel through the hypervisor and through the virtual machine uh, as well. So these three layers of indirection mean that if we're going to accurately depict time, we're not accounting for the fact that there's extra transmission that has to occur. So as this clock drifts further and further away, the measurements that it, are, it, it happens to be taking are becoming less and less accurate. And this becomes a problem if we're relying on this information to be uh, judging packet loss, latency, or even throughput over the course of the day. Another reason why we discourage the use of virtual hardware is you're not able to fully utilize the full amount of, of the underlying hardware itself to get an accurate depiction of network measurement. We run into a situation where our virtual host is measuring performance of the server itself versus the, the underlying network. For example, we're not able to fully utilize the network interface card to run 10 gig or even higher flows because we are sharing this with other th resources that may be on the machine. In some cases, uh, a virtual host may be dedicated to the entire machine, and this is a bit of a waste of resources as well. If we have to devote the entire resource just to one virtual host to get accurate network measurement, we've not saved anything in terms of cost or management. So for this reason, the Personal Project discourages the use of virtual machines and recommends that server class hardware be used instead.